Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello. Friday Stand Firm got hit by a juggernaut and pushed to Sunday night this week, but we are still here and we are going to stand firm anyway best skill in blood bowl folks and oh, it is yeah. a sunday night we are exactly one week away from tlc the next pay-per-view 8 p.m utc next week next sunday we've got a few shows between now and then to sort out the card and mr jims mcmahon is making his presence felt tonight gotta believe this is going to be the start of the run-up to tlc let's see what mr Jim mcmahon has to say here yeah in a few minutes once this loads in a few minutes i wonder if he's gonna say god damn it god damn it <laughs> but, um, i'm gonna guess he will yeah i, I think he might it's exciting isn't it What's he going to say in this obvious self-promotion? <laughs> Definitely not a call out. I'm allowed to I'm allowed to call Jim, or uh, to sell Jim out uh, after he left me hanging on Friday. I had to bail him out. Yeah, it was brilliant the uh, Give me fantastic <laughs> shit in this game. And there he is, the big boss himself, looking all business tonight. Wonder what he's got on his mind. I bet you sons of bitches are wondering what I've got on my mind. Well, I tell you this, it's shit. I am sick of that asshole Skuro Metso and fucking Tarsus. They're, they're being a right bunch of assholes. I don't care what they do in their shitty little tournament with my cast-offs. But goddammit, they're not going to interfere in my shows with my matches. So I tell you what, I'm gonna start buying them all out. I've started tonight, I've signed Blue Bomber. Hell of a match from that little kid, that little boy. <laughs> and I know he's a close friend of Skuro Mezzo, but now he's a JFW Plim Plomp Palooza weight with a non-compete clause. So say goodbye to your buddy Skuro's Miss O. And I tell you what, I'm going to carry on talking because I can't be asked to wait for these uh, pauses. <laughs> Next step, I'm going to buy out your whole fucking tournament. Enjoy waiting for that round two to kick off in the next few weeks because you'll never see any of it play out. Wednesday night is going to go back to reminding me of the glorious days back in the 1980s. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. words of war from Mr. Jim McMahon. And, um, oh, he might have... Oh, wait a second. That's Skirametso's music. He's in the building tonight, and I think he's going to come out here and have some words with Mr. Jim McMahon. Oh, dear. This could get ugly fast, folks. He could indeed. I mean, he, can't, he hasn't got a leg to stand on, really, has he? It's disgraceful what they've been doing there, coming in, attacking, attacking glorious JFW superstars. What a disgrace. Well, he laid out the warning, and Mr. Jim McMahon arrogantly ignored it. So uh, this is uh, this is penance, I guess. But let's get down there. He's grabbing a mic. Let's hear him. Well, I'm glad to see you're finally paying attention, Mr. Jim McMahon. But you've got to understand that this is a battle you cannot win. If you want to have any audience left, <laughs> you got to start listening to your talent. And let me tell you, no one making decisions in the upper management could ever be mistaken for having talent. I built a goddamn empire, you piece of shit. I'm a billionaire. Who the fuck are you? You think you can cover along with this fancy editing and all this bullshit? trying to create a successful wrestling broadcast. You've got no chance in hell. And I tell you what, you'll burn out before you finish the tournament. Ah, oh, see, that's the difference between shit and you. 
We want to make the best product because we respect the audience. We want shit to give a platform to every wrestler out there, indie or JFW, it doesn't matter, so long as they can show up and kick ass. What have you spent the last few months doing? Trying to crown the face of a company while the rest of the body withers and dies? JFW could be the best wrestling product on the planet, but it needs less of you and more of the wrestling community. Well, I tell you what it needs, it needs me in charge doing everything. Without me, what you have? Nothing. No JFW, no 2K19 streams. Just a group of sad old men crying about one and nines. God damn it. So who the hell do you think you are coming here? Well, we got a bunch of people, not brands, over at shit. And what do I bring? I bring power back to those that kill themselves for this business. And I want to show you just how powerful they can be. So, I come with an offer to you tonight. I'll call off the troops until TLC, but you got to make room for our existence. You leave Wednesdays in my hands and let my wrestlers com compete pro cross-promotionally like I do yours. Well, do you know what? I kind of like the idea of kicking the shit out of you idiots. So you're on. Call off the dogs. Lower the eggs. And you can get matches on JFW. Starting tonight. But anyone you want in there. But they're going to get their ass kicked to shit by Tony Plays Polly in a non-title match. God damn it. Well, that sounds like a plan. I know a guy who's been itching for a proper mass ma match on JFW. So get yourself ready for a fight, Mr. Jim McMahon. And you better get Tony ready, too, because Tarsus is in the arena, and he's going to arrange, rearrange the face of this company. So, yeah, fuck you. Well, I'm doing an extra line that wasn't uh, planned for, so see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had to make up. Uh, if you're just getting in here, we've got Jim McMahon versus Scurro on the mic here, calling a bit of a uh, – wow, they're still talking at each other for some weird reason. Calling a bit of a truce on the attacks, but uh, – Oh, my God, I'm actually going to win a mic battle. I can't believe it, God damn it! Oh, my fucking God, this is why I'm still talking. I'm actually going to win a mic battle. Shove that up your cake hole, Scurro, Metzo. You think you're top shit? You're coming here. Well, you ain't shit. We're the best. GFW forever. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fair enough. Wow. <laughs> Mr. McMahon, all business tonight. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, my wow. goodness. He destroyed him. <laughs> anyway, a truce being called. Scurro getting to set the main event. Tony plays poorly versus Tarsus in a non-title match tonight. <laughs> and shit will no longer invade up until and through TLC so long as they get a chance to compete on JFW. And, uh, well, I got to say, that is a that that is a win in my books for exactly what shit was pulling for, getting more people, more screen time in the JFW. And they've done just that tonight. But uh, I got to believe there's a little bit more up Jim, Mr. Jim McMahon's sleeve and that's going to play out in the coming weeks. <laughs> Maybe, yes. <laughs> Brilliant. And now, a tag team match. Here we go, six feet down under, getting a shocking win over the heart and soul of the JFW, the Unnatural Snackers, last Monday night, but under a bit of controversy as J5 walked out on Satterfield have not heard from either of those men since they haven't been in the arenas they haven't showed up at all they're not around so we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow night on claw to get any sort of resolution hopefully but dangerous and scary stuff going on there they were my pick to go face mighty af at tlc and now who knows what the case is gonna be but right now six feet down under looking to build off their last win and maybe get some momentum to get themselves to the pay-per-view. Yeah, it's very interesting. And hello, everybody who I haven't said hello to before. <laughs> oh, dear.
And uh, six feet down under, the undead duo of Night Demon and Gdanek making their way out to the ring now. A great tag team. They've been a little uneven at times and would absolutely love to cap off a really nice weekend for Gdanek running the first Blitz Pit Invitationals, or not Invitationals, qualifiers mm. uh, quite successfully, even though he got dumped out in the first round, like many of the other excellent coaches who got dumped out in the first round, like Skurametso, for example. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that but, you know, here's a great here's a great way for him to rebound, get a win tonight, make a case for a title shot next Sunday night. Mm. <laughs> I know. I was just talking about the great coaches who uh, who um, who got dumped out of the first round, such as Skirmetso and Kudenik. <laughs> and Elliot. And Elliot, yeah, yeah. I mean, really, those three names—they like go hand in hand with Blood Bowl <laughs> excellence. <so. laughs> yeah. And two CCL winners and one winner three of the SFL. <laughs> even bigger prize there. Yeah. Yeah, but most of those coaches had to rely on things like a free win, like Jimmy Minmax Tastic oh, winning God, his yeah. first round match. That was the best way to win, wasn't it? <laughs> Not playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> anyway, here it is the father son duo Matt Storm and <laughs> Matt Daddy. Wait, that is not his name at all. <laughs> Breaking Dad. Breaking Dad. Where did I get Matt Daddy from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, brilliant. it's possible that marijuana is not good for your brain. <laughs> that is possible, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, Tom. Oh dear. <laughs> Mad Daddy. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that's going to be in my head, too. Fantastic. And here we go. It looks like it's going to start off with Breaking Dad and Night Demon. <laughs> and look at this. A little, uh, little bit of celebration. Yeah, six feet down under, riding high right now. They're really feeling it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, almost certainly, <laughs> J5. We've got, we've got Breaking Dad. We used to have Fash, and we've got Rick Reckless. Yeah, so that's... Uh, bezel. Bezel, yeah, Bezel. Oh, yeah, and I guess gadenic has got socks on as well there, hasn't he? But, I mean, not just socks. He's got shoes and socks, hasn't he? Well, no, nah, shoes and socks doesn't count. Everyone has shoes Well, Bezel's got shoes as well, hasn't he? Does he? I thought he only had socks. He's got nice shoes as well. Uh, okay, I thought they were just socks. Yeah. Obviously. Actually, I gotta believe most of the uh, most of the uh, creator wrestlers you made for the JFW don't have socks under their boots because you can't see them, so you wouldn't have bothered. I put socks on <laughs> for all my guys. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Not all of them. Most of them. No, I didn't. <laughs> God, you focused on the match. Absolutely. Whoa! Look at that huge, big back body drop. Yep. Oh no! And now he's just gonna slam down on him. Does he sit? No, he doesn't stay for the pin. But that'll break your ribs. As did Earthquake to Hulk Hogan in the early nineties. Oh, he won then. <laughs> yeah, almost a true like the the epitome of a squash match with, yeah. with Night Demon getting actually squashed. Yeah. But now he tags in Matt Storm, and this is going to be an excellent chance. No offense to Matt Storm for Night Demon <laughs> to recover and turn this match around. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, Ardvac, yeah, Ardvac probably does, yeah. And here you go, the counter is on, and Night Demon is back on his feet here. And one arm drag has already knocked Matt Storm <laughs> loopy. That's not a good look. Oh, he's missed. Oh, was it, was it really, Antsy? God, I really want to watch that match. I heard it was excellent. <laughs> oh, now Night oh. Demon just having his way with Matt Storm. What a maneuver. 
A uh, bit of a hopeful pin here, though. Breaking Oof. Dad not even bothering to get in. Just a one-count kick out. Oh, and the punishment the continues. Look at this suplex. Oof. Oof. Hooks those legs. Crosses them up. Hello, my demon. Yeah, just in time. Yep. <laughs> Oh, God, the brutal knees. And now it's uh, almost like that hot start that Breaking Dad got. It's just gone. And look at this. Going right for that Zom A. Here it comes. There it goes. And uh, now it's just a matter of protecting this pin. Which, uh, get in here. Not even close to doing so. Got Good lost day, on the way, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, movement four not helping him out there. <laughs> Oof. We've got I don't, I don't not like I don't sorry. not like AEW. I just don't watch it. I would I would enjoy it ten times more than WWE if I watched either of them. I'm <laughs> sure of that. I um, like most of the wrestlers in AEW a bit more. We've got AEW on terrestrial television, don't we, in the UK? And see, I mean, yeah, it's on. Uh, it's on something. Yeah, I don't know if if we're delayed by a long time or like if it's you know if it's a month behind or what or just a week or two weeks or what oh that flying today. cross body connects in a pinfall here gdanik not He's bothering won. to come in Whew. too late two count gdanik was really oh he was really skirting the line there didn't thought he had an easy kick out and night demon almost got stunned by that one and pinned yeah i thought yeah i thought this is twice i thought night demon's been pinned yeah, Night Demon's really got to think about a tag out here. He's spitting mm -hmm. blood already. Just internal hemorrhaging from that cross body. <laughs> oh. Or maybe that came from the uh, the, the big uh, the big finisher there by Breaking Dad right off the bat. Same week. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, uh, so it's on a two-day delay. Yeah, it's ITV. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And you can also watch AEW Dark on YouTube, which is uh, their untelevised matches, which are usually really good. They bring in a lot of indie guys. They, like, debut a lot of indie people on those, and they're generally pretty good matches. Mm, oh, another boy. Zombie lined up here. Uh oh Oh, no, and he hits it. And again, this is going to all come down to Breaking Dead, who wasn't even facing and watching. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god, he decided to go <laughs> a terrible, terrible decision by Breaking Dad. Deciding he needed to spring off the ropes to, to get that axe handle in. And he's just a second too late for Night Demon. Oh, yeah, god. Night Demon and Gdanik six feet down under your winners tonight. Congratulations. That's two in a row, and they are looking red hot right now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Gdanik didn't have to do anything that match, did he? No, he didn't, no. <laughs> he never got tagged in. No, that was a two. And now look at this. Huh? It is the season of TLC. Here comes a plim plum cruiserweight ladder match. We saw Ghoulface Killa on shit last Wednesday compete and lose in one of these, but now he's got a shot against two guys, Antsy and the recently signed Blue Bomber in a triple threat ladder match. Plim plum cruiserweight action coming at you next. Yeah, and what a very what a very blue match this is. <laughs> yeah, it's a plim plum blueser weight mm. match, Jim. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Well that was painful. Fair enough. <laughs> And I am being told now, this is coming right across the wire, all three of these competitors by the week's end will have competed in the shit tournament. And that means Ansi is going to be going to shit on Wednesday night. Don't know what kind of match he's got. Don't know his opponent. 
but he is one of the last four entrants in round one, and we will see him Wednesday night, 8 p.m. UTC on shit. <laughs> Glorious. Congrats on being a shithead, Anzi. <laughs> yep, welcome to the shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Roger Moore out for a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the great aren't they, PC. The idea is like uh, Danny Dyer from the business, basically. Uh, Purple Chest, I think you missed it, but on our replacement show on Friday night, uh, Gorilla Mezzo here ran my own personal stream, and uh, just just a little eight-man tag match. We went through tables and then ladders and then a TLC match, and it was Purple Chest victorious in the finals, and he uh, he got the win in that meaningless uh, tournament of uh, eight-man tournament. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> Ended up against Damn Dave, of all people, who had a marathon, like, 30-minute long table match against <laughs> Lemon Is Good. Ended up winning it, yep. Uh, yeah, over on uh, my stream, uh, Scaramezzo. Wait, what's this? Gorilla Mezzo? Streams from Scaramezzo? I knew those two were in cahoots. I just figured it would be easier to find because of the like the the similar mezzo on the end of our names. Well, right, you'll have to repost it, uh, Gorilla. Cause I just posted a link to uh, his to Skuro's, uh It didn't. It didn't. Yeah, it didn't come up. So you'll have to do it again. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> it's literally just Twitch.tv slash Skuromezzo. <laughs> Ah, uh, I message not sent. It's identical. Fuck off. Does <laughs> <There. laughs> the job. <laughs> yeah. Also, or you can do that. I think you follow me on Twitter or on Twitch too. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did all of that work for no reason whatsoever. Good. We're good to go. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a that's gonna be real unfortunate for you. <laughs> I, I I would recommend being very cautious because my dogs will kill you. So. <laughs> and there he is, the blue bomber signed to an exclusive non-compete turn uh, clause. Well, uh, I, I guess there's not a lot of teeth to that because he was already eliminated from the shit tournament. But <laughs> Jim just wanted to, or Jim McMahon wanted to make sure, and he did. But here he is, pointing at his ass. <laughs> That's brilliant. What what entrance is this? It's uh, Tony Nice. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. Yeah, he's a cruiserweight. He's a jacked cruiserweight who really likes his abs. Fucking okay, hell, that's brilliant. Right. I yeah, Jim, Jim, I, I, I've been cool. told Jim's is a uh, hell of a Mega Man player. <laughs> oh no, 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 I uh, no purple chest. I'm not one of those Americans. I live in the one state that doesn't have guns. Yeah, it just got. He's just got a pair of wolves that. Will, yeah, <laughs> that will I, I have actual shreds. fucking wolves that will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> Unless you bring X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here we go. Triple oh, threat oh. ladder match off and running. Oh, yeah. Lost mystery. Whereabouts? Oof. Yeah. <laughs> It's smart, isn't it? Where oh, now? hey, you're out in Bizzle territory. Cool. I, I live. I'm just outside of Boston. Whoa! GFK cleaning house. Those ladders. 
<laughs> God, not another one. <laughs> another robot, eh? J5, uh, crazy. It's the best. It's the best. I yeah, enjoyed it when yeah. I made when I made Robo Scuro. <laughs> like Bezel was like, <laughs> apparently Jim thinks everyone in, in Massachusetts is a robot. Oh, the opportunist going right oh. up there as Antsy distracted. <laughs> is he not trying again? <laughs> <laughs> He's displaying some Danny Dyer level intelligence oh. here. <laughs> oh no, GFK is gonna have to save this one. <laughs> A blue bomber showed up just in time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ghoul face kill us, save Oh no, they just run away! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> wow. For a second I thought the fix was in and Jim McMahon signing Blue Bomber and giving him the easy win. <laughs> but that is not the case. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow, my that goodness. That was incredible. That was that would have been faster than uh than um than Purple Chest's win on Friday. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. That was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way. <laughs> He's doing the flip though. Yeah, he he loves doing that little standing flip, but it didn't. Uh, he got flipped the other way that time by GFK. GFK, a fucking hero, saving our ratings on that one. <laughs> this is supposed to be the match of the night, folks. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely that was amazing. Dude. That was that Fancy was fancy knowing line, what definitely. to do with the ladder, <laughs> just <laughs> destroying them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh dear, yeah, Blue Bomber dear, had dear. about two and a half minutes. <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was incredible! Oh shit, I'm gonna pass out! <laughs> This is amazing, <laughs> holy shit. Oh my god, my cheeks hurt from laughing. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible, wasn't it? Shades of Shelton Benjamin, that wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's probably going to win instantly now. No, no he's not. Yeah. Whoa. All right, another battle at the top. Oh, <laughs> instantly thrown off. And this is it. This has got to be it now. They're both down be. and hurt. Blue Bomber is going to need another two and a half minutes to undo this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's already spent about three minutes unfastening it. So. <laughs> uh, it's really funny. If you go back and watch the uh, the ladder match from last Wednesday on Chitin, and there it is, Blue Bomber successfully winning that ladder match. What a match. Glorious. <laughs> that sure was something. I actually, um, I did a, I, I hit a cut between when he started trying to undo it and finished undoing it because I didn't want to sit there for eight minutes <laughs> watching uh, uh, whoever it was that ended up winning that uh, ladder match. Mm, clever. Well, congrats, Blue Bomber. Not money in the bank, holder, no. Sadly, I should have made a GFW one uh, to do that, shouldn't I? That would have been a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it was just a basic ladder match, and the game forces you into it. Yeah. And besides, it's money in the ass here, not money in the in the bank. For fuck's sake, yeah. Tony! Stop being and, shit! Uh... And now, your big man, little man challenge. We've got a super heavyweight creeping in, but Mighty AF generally allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. So here is Frost Lord and the Plim Plump Loserweight Champion, Just Joe, against Flicky Flack and Le Bread Mask. Yeah, plain white toast. Unbelievable. 
Yeah, and you can find all of those VODs at YouTube. Sla no, Jimmy, Jimmy, whoa, boy, whoa. I am off gym tonight. www.jimmyfantastic.com or go to YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic. And you can find all of your Monday Night Claw, Friday Stand for him, the former Wednesday World Class, and of course, everyone's newest favorite, Shit Tournament, all right there in its own little channel. Yeah. And hopefully a fucking website at some point, ever. <laughs> yeah. I'm not building that for you. I've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've asked Kirkall how to do it, so I've got an idea how to do it. So. You could do it. If you were willing to pay for, like, a Square, Squarespace website, you could do it easily. And you could do it on your own, too. Mm. Super. It's just like, you know, their Squarespace is like... Probably like a, I don't know, 120 bucks a year or something like that. Yeah, it's a little, it's pricey, but if you're gonna make money off of it, it's worth it. If you're gonna just promote wrestling that you're not monetizing. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'd do it oh, if I, I had the yeah. money's Andy Gray. Yeah, I forgot that uh, Frost Lord one half or one third or one quarter, whatever you want to call <laughs> it, of the uh, two heads championships. We already know that G uh, Just Joe is not eligible. To uh, to defend in that title, it's only Tony Clavius and Frost Lord uh, for basically arbitrary reasons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go. Frost Lord is the fucking champ. <laughs> now, does that mean you are the actual fucking champ, or you're the champion of fucking? Probably, he probably would prefer the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Just Joe has the most perfect smile in all of professional wrestling, <laughs> Purple Chest. And here we go, plain white toast, Flicky Flack, and the Red Mask, the Friday fuckboy. He's been on a bit of a tear recently, looking to go deep in some shit <laughs> on Wednesdays and making a name for himself against the Plim Plum Cruiserweight champion tonight. To go a long way for his singles career as well. Yeah. <laughs> Plain white toast, amazing. Yeah, absolutely. The best thing about plain white toast is that it gets Flicky into the ring in a reasonably entertaining fashion. <laughs> Here we go, the two big men man. starting us off right now. Flicky Flack versus Frost Lord. And as you can see, they're pretty comparable inside. Flicky Flack at the top end of the heavyweights and uh, Frosty in the lower end of the supers. So this is, isn't as uh, you know unfair as it seems on paper. Yeah, I mean, Flicky Flack has like two inches on Frost Lord, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just Joe. <laughs> look out. He's just Joe. Very concerned look on his face right now. <laughs> oh boy. Flicky fucking control. Oh, but a big counter from Frosty. Sends yeah, him sending him out of that friendly him. sending him out of that friendly turnbuckle there tagging in his tag team partner and here we go mighty af they are a pretty well-oiled machine but so have been flicky flack and labred mask very intriguing mask here and match here and speaking of masks not that just joe wears one but just joe <laughs> taking it to flicky flack right now yeah it's quite good isn't it both people with the full with no eye hole masks <laughs> I mean, of course, that's just Joe's real face. Everyone knows that. Yeah, well, uh, no Night, Demon said that that. Night Demon told us that the tag finishes didn't work, but then he said it, on normal difficulty they do work, so we can have we can have tag team finishes. That would be nice, wouldn't mm. it? And now, here we go. Could this be a preview of TLC? LeBred Mask versus Just Joe. <laughs> it's pathetic from Joe. <laughs> the bread ass cheeks. I'm gonna get him. Whew. Yeah, 
working. I think it'd be a nice thing to have, wouldn't it? Like doing three Ds and stuff. Would yeah, be, absolutely. Would be a nice thing to have. <laughs> oh, did it? Yeah, it looked it looked shit from the advert for it. I thought. Um, Joe's real head with it. They're not shaven tan. No, it's a, he's got his storm hood, isn't it, or something? It's called. I can't remember what it's called. Whoa! Crazy stuff. And Flicky begging for the tag, and oh, look at that, he makes it. Diving tag, oh no, he bounces off with the big boot. And here you go, these are two very evenly matched big men. And Frostler looks like he's gonna get the better of uh, Flicky Flack on that exchange. Coming in hard on him. Coming in hard. Always, Jim, it's the only way to come in. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> It'd be really weird if, it, if you came in any other yeah, way. Yeah, if you came... Yeah, coming in soft is, like, something you'd expect from, like, I don't know, Muppet Pac-Man or something. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> no, hey, Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get lurkers out of the uh, woodwork, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's flash hood isn't it flash hood I think that's what it is a flash hood I don't think uh, I want Joe flashing his hood at me personally but uh, <laughs> yeah, it that's is. It's neither a, it's here nor hood. there it's a flash hood that's what it is <laughs> look at this Joe the self rock bottom on flicky flack flicky trying to get that tag in but Joe intercepts it that time yeah, smart play from Joe. Absolutely, and wrenching that elbow. Oh, oh, Joe God, going up a... top. Wow, Flicky Flex a long way away for this one. Leg drop maybe, or maybe going for that senton. Whoa, he goes yeah, for that sent or the swanton, sticks the landing, and here's the pinfall, but LeBred Mask right there to break it up. Yeah, you really want to try and pin this, this little guy, don't you, in this, so that the big guy is slower to break up the pin attempts. Yeah, maybe. I mean, as we saw evidenced in our other tag match earlier tonight with Breaking Dad <laughs> doing everything yeah. in his power to get there just in the nick of too late. Yeah, I think I think you want your big guy versus their little guy. I think that's what you want to happen when, you, yep. when you're going for the pin. Oh, well, Frost Frostler going up top. Oh, he's just celebrating. <laughs> <I thought laughs> maybe setting up a moonsault or something crazy. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, he spent a bit too much time on himself, and Flicky Flack able to come back. Look at this. Whoa, the all the way slam, and now Flicky Flack has fired up. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, and he knee. chops his knee out there. And here we go, Flicky Flack on the attack. That was a bit telegraphed, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Obviously, Frosty And the big spine buster see. in. We might be uh, just... Oh, here comes the spear. Yeah. He's setting up for the spear. <laughs> ah, and he nails him. And now, is he going to go for a pin? He is fired up. He still probably wants to tag out after doing all that. And there you go. Frostlord recovering quickly. <laughs> and Flicky Flack doesn't have much left in the tank. Really should have used that advantage to tag out but he's fighting his way back there kick to the knee and, here's and the now flack hammer. oh it is the flack hammer he's got him up Ooh. he's got him down he goes for the pin lebred mask is right there oh. no just joe just quicker also right quicker there. on the draw but <laughs> lebred mask gonna take it to him he should go for another pin Whoa, what a power oh another again. fall away so yeah that was impressive pin him pin him flicky it's over <laughs> oh, him he's open. busting him open! Yeah, punched right through that mask. He's gonna let the little guy finish it off. Here comes Lebred Mask. Like a Yorkshire Here comes Terrier. Lebred Mask. Yeah. He's gonna start humping Frosty's leg, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just like that, Frost Lord able to tag out. Oh, oh, look at this! Ooh. Oh, not too bad. I thought he was going to do a leg drop. Yeah, it was shit, wasn't it? <laughs> it got yeah. my hopes up and it was shit. 
<laughs> oh. No, into the corner. Oh. Bounces him Oof. off the turnbuckle into the running power slam. And Just Joe is absolutely feeling it now. Flicky can only watch from the ropes. Lebred Mask completely isolated. <laughs> Leg drop on his arm. <laughs> yep. I hate that, but yep. Yeah, I hate that. What a shit move. That's so stupid. Oh, but he uh, pays for it now. The Hurricane Rana there. Yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, he's done it as well. <laughs> yeah, trying to show him up. Leg drop to the arm. Soften up that arm. <laughs> oh, twist of oh, fate. Oh, and the twist of fate. That's Joe's move used against him. The yeah. bread mask is showing him up right now. <laughs> sending a message, I think. Doesn't even get a two count. <laughs> Frosty said in a message there, you're on your own, mate. <laughs> <laughs> And Lebred Mask continuing. Oh, snap, said snap DDT there. <laughs> and Lebred Mask going top rope. Exciting stuff. This has not worked out for him so well uh, from his Blue Bomber match on shit. Oh. And that is why. <laughs> he misses it. He's like 0 for the century on those top rope maneuvers uh -oh. now. Just Joe a little slow getting to the top oh. rope. And he gets the jumping knee. And now he's able to fight back from the dangerous spot there. Mm. Oh, but the counter. No. Oh, drop toe hold. These two are very even. I'm getting pretty excited about a match between these two for that Plimp Blomp Loserweight Championship. Yeah, this has been a great of, match, hasn't it? Especially of, between of these course, two. Of course, LeBred Mask looking to be the first two time Plimp Plomp Loserweight Champion in JFW history. He was the original Plimp Plomp Loserweight Champion. He was indeed. Mostly by default, but nevertheless. Entirely by default. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh but there's ride. the last ride oh, to the God. little man, and his body just ragdolled off the ring there. <laughs> it looked like he died. Yeah, sure did. Oh, <laughs> good Lord. Now the super heavyweight throwing his weight around a little bit. Hollow oh, lemon. lemon. Oh, could we see that pedigree here? We could. We do. This is exactly what you want. Fast jaw, Fro ready to cut yeah. off, slow flicky. Frost Lord making some uh, burnt toast, and that's going to do it. Yeah. Mighty AF, your winner. Look at that. Joe got over there for the X Factor to <laughs> intercept Flicky Flat coming in the ring. Just as you called it, Jim. You wanted the big man on the outside, and that's <laughs> exactly how it happened. Brick. Just Joe and Mighty <laughs> AF victorious tonight over playing white toast. Yeah, very impressive. I mean, as you would expect from Mighty AF. I mean, I guess so. Again, uh, you know, Big Man, Little Man Challenge is supposed to be a heavyweight and a plim plom pluserweight. We've got a super heavyweight and a plim plom pluserweight uh, in the ring right now. So take from that what you will. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right, and next up we've got Ripper Doc versus uh, Bleeding Hippie. But what's this? We're getting oh, word no. from from the <laughs> people backstage that a backstage, a backstage brawl has broken out between Flicky Flack and Dave. Well, Dave had some words for Flicky Flack last week, trying to catch Flicky Flack off guard after that match, maybe. Yeah. And coming after him right now, uh, I think we're just going to have to preempt that other match that no one wants to see <laughs> and uh, and catch up here. Uh, would you mind resetting the stream? Of course I will. Thank you. It has oh. gone a bit cock-eyed. <laughs> you said cock. <laughs> oh, cocky, funnily enough. <laughs> Hi, Cocky. And here we go, Dave. Dave, a finalist in that meaningless eight-man tournament. Uh, oh God, he's the purple Look at that. Unrelenting. He's taking a leave out of Skuro Metzo's offense of constantly bashing X. Nothing else. Hey, you know what? He, uh, he got a glimpse of it in that Lemon is Good table match <laughs> yeah. and uh, saw how effective it was leading to his victories. So. <laughs> 
mesmo. Uff. Gets the counter though. <laughs> oh! Now, Flicky Flack, notoriously uh, mediocre backstage, uh, as we've seen in the past. Would love to turn it around and get one up on Dave here. Wasn't ready for this match and getting pummeled for his trouble. <laughs> yeah, he, this is dominating from Dave. And as you can see, Tony plays poorly being interviewed in the background there. <laughs> uh, probably talking about the uh, Mighty AF win in the Big Man Little Man Challenge. Probably is, yep. Looking pretty jacked these days uh, back there. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like he's had a bit too much HGH. <laughs> oh, Dave with a miss, but it's all right. He's counted. Oh, yeah. mate, I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? What the fuck, mate? You take voids? And you look at this. Him, Dave. Oh, he's getting dangerously close to that electrical panel. Doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Dude. Just like my penis, humorous chin. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> I haven't heard any complaints. <laughs> oh, the spinebuster on Flicky Flack. <laughs> oh, and he sends him into the office. Triple H probably going to be. Oh, and Dave looking for the finisher. Oh dear, Flicky Flack in all sorts of trouble. Through the table! Oh, he man. got through the table! And amazing. Dave, just like that, wins it. And that is why you don't cross Dave! <laughs> what a finish. Straight through the table. <laughs> Incredible. Table. And next up, a handicap match. Cock and ball torture versus primetime Kev. Uh, we saw him uh, last week go the distance against Purple Chest on the shit tournament. Looks like uh, Mr. Jim McMahon doling out more punishments for people <laughs> he doesn't care that much about that compete and do su and have success on shit. And next yeah. up, k is going to probably get his balls broken. Poor bastard. Nobody will be happy about that in the GFW, will they? Apart from Moridam, of course, if he gets to eat them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor old PTK. Everyone loves PTK, don't they? Hard not to. Mm-hmm. PTK could win, yeah, you never know. It's <clears throat> probably going to hurt his balls. Oh, it's a great entrance, Frosty. Uh, dude love <laughs> yeah the only thing is we get robbed of that little uh, over the ropes leap true <laughs> it's still a great entrance though the Charleston down. <laughs> oh, dear. You can just imagine PTK doing it. That's the best thing. <laughs> uh, smart maneuver for this match, Cocky. <laughs> yeah. And, and they are Cock and Ball Torture, the literal fucking Goblin Moradam, the weird-ass Australian Cocky, <laughs> Torch for this one. Yeah, w Wanger's got the night off. He's more of a Monday Night Claw guy. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, K Fog's ass blocking the head lick. <laughs> Here we go, two on one. 
Uh, not Tornado, so uh, at least k has got that going for him. Yeah, he's got half a chance. Oh, God, look at this. Oh, shot, sign of power right there. k it is a very big, very powerful guy. And uh, while, while Cocky is uh, by no by no means small, he certainly does have, doesn't have a size advantage in this one. No. He does have a he does have a piston diaper advantage though. <laughs> if there's a world in which you can claim that as an advantage, yes, he does have it. Well, it's it's rubbing right into K Fog's ear right now. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Ooh. Big inverted atomic drop. Going straight for the cock torture instantly. <laughs> Oh, big, big, uh, big counter. <laughs> he was trying to fuck him in the air, wasn't he? Yeah. He tags in the literal fucking goblin. Morty, I'm going to pick the bones right now. Cocky. Oh, Cocky's having trouble. There we go. Oh, oh no, God. but squished like a bug there. And now k -Fog. This would be something if he could mount a comeback here. Wouldn't it? We've never Camel seen that clutch, in nothing though. doing. <laughs> yeah, Bronco Buster. <laughs> that would be pretty good. <coughs> yeah, K Fog uh, teeing off a little bit on the much smaller opponent now. Maybe that could go to his favor here because they don't have the tornado tag, so they do have to tag in and out. Maybe k -Folk can wear down Mordam without exerting too much effort to try and get a win over Cocky, but it's sure going to be hard to get a free pinfall without the other one sneaking in. Oof. Yeah, it is very difficult. They need to hope for some breaking dad level uh, <laughs> brain <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh. oh my gosh. Just face plants him there. A lot of force on that one. Oh, oh but look at this. Counter. Beautiful counter. The, the the flip up there and then that flip kick by Moradam. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> and he'll talk for it. <laughs> and then walk around for a bit. <laughs> and then get grappled. Really brilliant stuff from Moradam. Big splash. Oh my god. I, I hope there's no Falcons fans in the uh, in the crowd tonight. They just went from uh, a ninety nine percent win probability to losing to the Dallas Cowboys forty to thirty nine in about one minute. I, I was on an onside kick recovery. The Falcons forgot they could touch the ball before it went 10 yards and surrounded it. <laughs> oh, dear. Funny story about the Falcons. I remember this plucky quarterback that used to play for the New England Patriots coming down 28-3 in the Super Bowl and finding a way to win it. Greatest comeback in all of sports history, I'm told. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know that there's anything better. Well, sports, it, amazingly, sports didn't start in, like, 1950 or whatever, uh, so, you know, there is, <laughs> there, is a, uh, yeah. <laughs> there is a world outside of America, so, but maybe it's American uh, sports history, sure. Yeah, but that, I mean, the impossibility of a 25-point comeback in the Super Bowl, that's... <laughs> oh, I know, it was, it was I'd gone to bed because I thought they'd lost. <laughs> Yeah, Kirk Gibson's home run is good. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, and there, and now comes the namesake. A little bit of cock torture there. Beautiful. Oh, oh and there's the ball torture. And that's going to be good night, I think, for yeah, PTK. I think so. And sure enough, cock and ball torture your winner. Gotta believe that cleans the slate for K-Fog with Mr. Jim McMahon. Excuse me. 
I don't know either of those PCs to be honest, but I mean there's a lot of crazy sports and things that I mean I, I know golf and <laughs> golf and cricket aren't really crazy, but like just a, as a, as broad a statement as in sports is a bit silly when there's. So I mean, many hey, I'm willing. I'm cool. willing. I would be willing to consider uh, others, but you gotta be. You gotta remember though that like that wasn't just the regular season game where they came back. That was the pinnacle of that sports games for the season. Mm -hmm. So you gotta find something that has an equal comeback that was as desperate. How and about as, Jeff Hurst scoring a hat trick? They think it's all over. It is now. In the world that would be a good one I'm, good. but like but was he yeah i don't know i don't know hockey so <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure there's i'm sure there's some i'm just saying like it's got to be in that final game to win the championship that's a key part of what makes that so great yeah oh yeah liverpool's come back in the champions league that was pretty incredible oh did that happen this year right no no ages ago uh, okay wasn't there a huge comeback this year too I don't know. That, that was ages ago, know. though. Liverpool and the Champions League. That everyone thought that was over. That was that was about the same as the Patriots, I guess. I guess that was like the football equivalent to the Patriots one. Shut up, Bezel. That doesn't count. <laughs> that was the, that 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 was that was the refs not making five different holding calls on the line of scrimmage. That's all that was. <laughs> Frostlord. Okay, Frostlord. That one. That one, however. <laughs> <laughs> that one might be it. <laughs> and here we go, though. The, the co founder of shit managed by his other co founder against the face of the JFW. Tony plays poorly with the big boss, Mr. Jim McMahon, in his corner. This is a main event worthy of a pay-per-view and that's why we're teasing a pay-per-view tonight with our sunday stand firm stand question mark firm. <laughs> yeah and here we have the two the two prime shitheads <laughs> scuro and tarsus Well, Tarsus with a size advantage, but that doesn't really matter when your opponent is Tony plays poorly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it, I mean, technically, it was supposed to be uh, uh, Sunday Night Juggernaut, but uh, it that, doesn't really matter because we're never doing effort. another I Sunday show that just isn't a pay-per-view. I was just going to say it was Friday Night Stand Firm and then put it on YouTube as if it had been happened on Friday. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, you should have told, communicated that to me. Nah, it doesn't matter. matter. You can still call it Friday Stand Firm. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think any of it mattered. <laughs> There's Jim Slough with a guy who who built the JFW. He, he absolutely did. You can't take that away from him. But you kind of can take away a lot of the behavior of late of Mighty AF really running this place like they uh, own it. And, uh, you know, if you're going to divest and compete for a title, you can't really be playing those games and winning respect. So I think uh, Mighty AF needs to come down a few pegs, and it might be Tarsus and shit to be the people who do it. But we're going to find out in just a few minutes. Hmm. Corporate AF, yeah, that's the one. Ooh, I got a Homer crowd tonight. Cleaning out the shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe humor is a charm. Hey! Oh, and missing with that early flying crossbody, you can see Tarsus has been itching to get back in and impress in a JFW ring after everything he's been through in this mm. business. Well, he's getting there. And he's just flattening way, Tony right now, using his size to his advantage. But again, this is Tony plays poorly. The amount of matches we've seen him come back in time and again, it's hard to believe that Tarsus is going to win this one uh, without uh, without breaking uh, a little bit more than just his sweat. 
Yep. Tony, though, showing no signs of the neck injury he suffered backstage to that brutal Scurimezzo attack that we probably just forgot about. But uh, seems yeah. pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah, we did forget about that. Never mind. It's I wanted to put him in a neck shit. brace, but then I just didn't care. Yeah, you can just no-sell it. Yeah. If anyone in the JFW can no-sell it, a broken neck, it's Tony. <laughs> oh, look at that. Not even a one count. Yeah, he is. The bionic redneck. <laughs> really unsafe, but yeah. Ooh, not even a one count there, though. Yeah, both these guys are in this to win this. Yeah, especially Whoa. Tony. Tony in his big match Tony attire, even though it's not a title, it just shows how much Jims and Tony want him to win this match. Yeah, uh, it, it does reek of desperation. I'm going to have to agree with you there, Jim. <laughs> I wouldn't say desperation, I'd say importance. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call Tony impotent, but uh, fair enough. <laughs> God. <clears throat> oh, thanks, humorous Jim. Oh, look at that. Big counter from Tony. What's the ref doing? And the ref real slow for that pinfall. Only a one count. That was a three. <laughs> it's a fix. <laughs> Damn straight, Lemon. <laughs> Wolf. And these two really sizing each other up now, just trading off big blow after big blow. Who's going to get the final blow, though? Who's going to finish here? Find out in just a minute. Ooh. Nope. Maybe a couple minutes. <laughs> going to suplex him right back into the ring here. He does. Yeah. Oh, and Jim's McMahon not liking that. Here's the pinfall attempt. Probably a little hopeful. Yep. Just the one count. No. Tony counters that. Oh, but gets Whoa. counted back. Oh, look at that. The In... Uranagi by Tarsus. Oh, Nagi. And so... now just this flurry of blows, the double axe handle, and he is just teeing off on on Tony right now. Yeah. Vicious assault. And here we go, 10 slams into the uh, corner. Yeah, Oof. if you are a shithead, you love to see this. And Skuro clapping along on the outside, really happy with Tarsus thus far. Barely a one count, <laughs> though, after all of that. And now Tars is getting trying to fire himself up for the second half of this match. Oh, oh, oh this could be a bad time. A big <laughs> <flex>. <laughs> 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 Who didn't see that coming? Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> stunner, stunner. And there's stunner. the stunner. Is that going to be enough? Tarsus is Maybe. not taking much damage. No, Skuro! Oh, Skuro! Skuro on the side there, calling him up. Oh dear, Tony didn't even notice what happened there. <laughs> Dirtiest player in the game, maybe. Skuramezzo <laughs> helping out Tarsus on that one. And now Tarsus going top rope. He is the heavy, the super heavyweight luchador. Can he stick the landing? <laughs> yeah, it was great. He what can. It there it is. This could be it. No way. Oh. oh, just the two count. Tony kicks out. This match continues. That <laughs> was great. One it Tony celebrating like he'd won. <laughs> Absolutely. Body had it, and now the match continues. Deadlift into that power slam there. Absolutely brutal. And now uh, even more brutal, that neck, or that headlock locks in oh. tight. Big meaty arms just driving into the neck, cutting off the airflow. They're trying to put Tony out, and it looks like he might have succeeded. Yeah. 
Good on, he's going straight back. Oh, he's massaging him to wake him up. Yeah, now he wants to do more damage. Oh, maybe a critical mistake, though. Woke up the sleeping dragon, and here comes Tony. No, here comes Tarsus flattening him into the pin. Just the two count again. Oh, big DDT, though. Puts Tony right back on top of things. Oh, an inside oh, no, cradle. In the, yeah, inside cradle for the pin doesn't even get the one count. <laughs> interesting uh, maneuver that might show a little bit of desperation by tony but now he's got to come back on here mm -hmm. not looking good for tarsus now oh boy there's the uh Luthes press yep teeing off on his jaw there and now tony might be a, a stunner away from uh ending this one. Oh no he's gonna keep working that head Oh, Ooh, nice counter by Tarsus though. He's got to he's got to go. Oh, he's going for the he's going for uh nothing. <laughs> going for a run around. Yep. <laughs> oh, the big squash into the corner there. Working all those kinks out of the neck and now here he comes. <laughs> Last ditch effort maybe by Tarsus to put away Tony before he engages full on Tony plays poorly mode. Oh, this the old the old trap squeeze. Yep. When has that ever worked out for anyone? Never ever. <laughs> There's the stunner. Oh, Skuro doesn't like that. Here comes the pinfall, maybe. Oh, and, and Skuro trying to will Tarsus to kick out. He doesn't. <laughs> and there it is. LOL, Tony wins. <laughs> Tony plays poorly. Your, your, well, he was still going to be your champion. This was non-title. But Tony with a big win on a Friday, Sunday night. And now Tarsus, ooh, look at this. Tarsus. Tars is maybe looking to mend some bridges. Well, Tony's a lovely fella. He'd shake anyone's hand, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think Tarsus was uh, pretty pleased with what he saw from Tony Plays Poorly in there. And uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, at least one half of the co-founders of shit wants to see this unity continue in the JFW. We'll have to find out. And you can wait. You won't have to wait long because Monday night, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. UTC, we're back with Monday Night Claw in the final week's run-up to tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh, my. My name is Gorilla Mezzo. Jim, thanks for having me, as always. I'll see you tomorrow night. And as always, see you later, shitheads. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>